Hello again. Welcome back. It's loud. I'm sorry. I've missed you all. I'm happy that you're you're back this week. I learned a couple things watching last week's episode. One, I'm a lot stranger than I thought I was. Two, I say um a lot more than I thought I did. Three, I misled you guys. Dorothy and Nadine are sweethearts of the Navy. They're not from 1997, they're from 1937, and I don't know why I said that, and I hope that you all can learn to trust me as we go on this journey together. And I'm sorry I misled you. This week, very exciting week, I'm going to take you on a voyage from stage left all the way to the back of the house where we enter. I'm not gonna tell you when it is in the show because I want you to see it I want you to be surprised but we enter from the back of the house and I'm gonna take you on that voyage so I will see you stage left bye all right we've exited stage left the kitties are coming I've got my sippy bottle okay Willie's coming Celie's coming thank you Mia there's Latanya Richardson Jackson looking very natural and refined, walking up the steps. Here we go, we're going down the stairs. Celia, what is on your sippy cup? Um, a pink with <coughs> unicorns and rainbows. Ah, uh, unicorn. And That's also some autumnal hump parts. So apt for you, is it? Jerron! Jerron! Say hi to Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. Got it. All right, now the grand, grand entrance into the women's restroom. Hi, Rachel. Okay, this is where Will goes to the bathroom before we go back on stage. This is where Celie goes to the bathroom before we go back on stage. And now we are entering into the downstairs lobby. Here is where we get a drink, our concessions, our merchandise. And now we are going to go up. The stairs. How many flights of stairs do you think we go up and down this um, I think we should. We should wear a Fitbit one day and really count that. All right. All right. We're now going back to go on stage. Bye. Hello. This is Benga Akina Bay. He plays Tom Robinson, and we are going to do another segment of What's the Dill? So Benga, what's the dill with liberated people? What's the deal? Who are these people? <laughs> That's my, never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, Liberated People is a lifestyle brand I created a few years ago. Uh, and it came from me being fortunate enough to be a part of a number of different protests around the world. I'd be in the streets with people who spoke different languages, who looked different, different um, and they were, but they, I realized that they were all out there protesting for the same reasons, the same democratic and human rights that you know we all value, but they also, for the most part, everyone feels that their struggles are unique to their subgroup. Like only Puerto Rican women from the Bronx suffer this way, only Black men from South Africa suffer this way. So, and but I realized this. I felt like this was actually something we had in common, and if we recognized the, if we recognized the the struggles of our brothers and sisters elsewhere abroad, you know different neighborhood or different country, we'd be stronger for it because in the end, we have the numbers. So tell Broadway.com what this company sells. We sell a lot of dope shit. Um, we sell t-shirts and sweatshirts that highlight liberation dates. Um, that, that some, and some of the products that we sell, some of the cool gear, active wear that we sell, um, we use to raise money for different nonprofits. Uh, we've been raising money. I, I pledged fifty thousand dollars to the Trayvon Martin Foundation. I don't know why I pledged so much. Because you're I, a good person. <laughs> yeah. And so that means we are selling. Uh, if I did the math right, five thousand hoodies to raise fifty thousand dollars. We donate a portion of each sale to the foundation. Uh, when we've been doing this, we launched this uh, a couple years ago on uh, on the the anniversary of uh, Trayvon's passing, and uh, and it's been amazing. We've been coordinating with all types of people, amazing folks who who wanted to post about their 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 thoughts on 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 this kind of doubling down on activism and black activism and that's been going on in the country and so they uh, wear they don the hoodie. We've seen people like Harry Belafonte who wears it all the time. God bless that man. Um, 
Samuel uh, Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Anna Camp. Like it's just a range. It's it's just not it's not about black people. It's about all people. And this is a hoodie that says Trayvon. Yes. Um, and funnily enough, no, not funnily enough. Well, funnily enough, uh -huh. um, you could purchase this. Where? You can purchase this at WeAreLiberated.com, but you can also purchase it at what? Schubert Theater because Liberated People is making um, in collaboration with with. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird, the merchandise for To Kill a Mockingbird. It's not To Kill a... I was about to say To Kill a Liberated People. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to kill Liberated no, People. No, we want to liberate Liberated People. We want people. to celebrate Liberated yes. People. <laughs> to, it's Liberated People for To Kill a Mockingbird, so we've collaborated with them on their entire merch line, which was awesome, um, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to do that and just yeah, raise help raise some money for some dope nonprofits. Three nonprofits that we decided to help uh, raise money for. Um, one being the Trayvon Martin Foundation. Uh, shout out to Sabrina Fulton and Tracy, Trayvon's parents. Um, the the Southern Leadership Poverty Center and the Mon Monroeville Library, which is obviously the library where Harper Lee and uh, Truman Capote are from. And it's where Makeham is based off of. Yes. Um, that's extraordinary. That's You're extraordinary. Cool. Uh, can I ask you a question? How many years have you had this company? 2000, what is this? 19. 2019, yeah. Okay. So it's been 2012. <laughs> Seven, Seven years. <laughs> that's why so I how asked. old were you? Oh wait, should I, can I ask that? I was younger than I am now. You were younger than you are. So uh, that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> that's really, really amazing. Um, it's amazing you can have, you can be you can you can create a company that also has an initiative like social justice. Um, I've been very fortunate, and and it's it's funny because we it's it's fortunate, but also unfortunate that, that so much has happened to require you know some sort of vehicle happening where people can get together and have to speak out, and and that's what we have with liberated people. That's what we have actually with this place, or the fact that liberated people gets to collaborate with this play it's been an amazing gift upon gifts yeah so please go to the website liberatedpeople.com nope that's not the website tell them what the website is again the website is weareliberated.com go to that website don't listen to me <laughs> um or you could come see to kill a mockingbird and go downstairs get some dope gear we have t-shirts patriarchy is a bitch t-shirts that's dope because you know what's a bitch patriarchy I have that shirt. Yes, he has it. He rocks it. I haven't seen you rock it recently. Well, it might be underneath here. I imagine. I'll show him later. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Ta-da. I bet you didn't recognize me because I got a haircut. Thank you for joining me this week. Uh, thank you for all of your questions. I'm going to answer just a couple before we sign off. One, revise significant other. I don't think it's going to happen. We didn't make a lot of money the first time. Two, these voodoo dolls. Celia. Will. Me. These were a gift for Mia Mooney, our dresser, for opening night. It's a very, very, very nice gift. Um, See, so yeah, I did it again. Truma Capote. A heavy influence on my interpretation of Dill. Thank you for asking. And Seth Goldberg. Yes. We are on for brunch. Until next time, guys. Bye. This never stops dripping. <laughs>